there! I am Teacher Joyce Alba. Welcome to my virtual science classroom. When you mix flour and water in making a thick liquid, what kind of mixture is it? Is it solution, suspension, or colloid? The answer is colloid because the flour particles can absorb, reflect, and scatter light. Therefore, a beam of light passing through the setup was visible. This scattering of light is called Tyndall effect. Tyndall effect is seen as a beam of light in a colloid because there is a scattering of light when light beams pass through it due to the dispersed particles which absorb, reflect, and scatter the light. So, colloid is a special kind of mixture that contains very tiny particles that cannot be seen by the unaided eye. It exhibits both properties of liquid and solid. Colloidal particles do not settle but remain dispersed throughout the medium. Colloid comes from the Greek word kola, which means glue. Colloidal colloids are rubber, plastic, synthetic fibers, gelatin, and foams. Instead, they move rapidly and collide with or bump each other. This motion of tiny particles is called Brownian motion. In adding powdered milk to a glass of warm water, you can form a cloudy mixture but the milk particles do not settle down. The milk that you drink every day is called colloid. Solutions, suspensions, and colloids exhibit characteristics that can be perceived as similar but they are actually not. For instance, colloids have particles that are slightly smaller than the particles of a suspension. Colloidal particles, however, are larger than the particles of solutions. Colloidal particles are in between the sizes of suspension, and solution particles cannot be seen by the naked eye. Instead, they are visible through a microscope only. The different examples of colloids are important to daily life. Natural colloids such as blood, clouds, and fog are basic for living things. Man-made colloids are also useful. Numerous colloids such as milk, butter, gelatin, jam, jelly, and other creamy substances such as mayonnaise and whipped cream are used as food for ingredients for preparing food. Some colloids such as magnesium hydroxide, creams, and ointments are used as medicines and cosmetics. Paints have both protective and decorative functions. Styrofoams, inks, and white glues are used in offices and printing press. Insecticides are used in farming. Artificial aerosols are not environment friendly. These products contain chlorofluorocarbons or CFCs, which act as propellants. Expert says the CFCs destroy the ozone layer, the layer that protects the earth from the ultraviolet rays of the sun. Let's see if you learned something. Answer this. Listen to the statement carefully. Say yes if it is correct and no if it is incorrect. Number 1. Colloids are homogeneous mixtures. Correct. Number 2. Light cannot pass through colloidal particles. 
correct. Number three, the components of colloid do not settle at the bottom. Number four, colloid particles are bigger than suspension particles. Number five, colloid particles are larger than solution particles. Correct! Let's go to the other activity. Describe the appearance and uses of colloids. Say the letter of the correct answer. Number one, which description best describe colloids? Letter A, composed of molecules bigger than a solution but smaller than a suspension. Letter B, mixtures of two or more substances can be easily separated. Letter C, formed by mixing different kinds of solutions. Letter D, have molecules that are big enough to settle at the bottom. Correct! Number 2. Which of the following is the best description of colloids? A. Sticky, creamy substance. B. Cream, pure substance. C. Dark, black substance. D. Clear, flawless substance. Correct! Number 3. The following colloids are used for food preparation, except A. Gelatin B. Milk C. Silica gel D. Whipped cream Correct! Number 4. Which colloid has both protective and decorative function? A. Ink B. Insecticide spray C. Paint And D. Creams Correct! Now let's talk about the types of colloids. A sol is a solid dispersed in either solid or liquid. Examples of solid dispersed in liquid are blood, paint, gum, muddy water, and some forms of pigment ink. An emulsion is a liquid dispersed in either a liquid or solid. Examples of emulsions are milk, cod liver oil, butter, mayonnaise, and most ointments, and creams used in medicines and cosmetics. The components of emulsion usually do not mix. An emulsifying agent is mixed to form a stable emulsion. Mayonnaise, for example, is a mixture of oil in lemon or vinegar with egg yolks as an emulsifying agent to stabilize the emulsion. Fresh milk is usually homogenized to reduce the size of the fat particles and prevent the separation of an oily upper layer of cream from the colloidal suspension of protein. Aerosols are suspensions of liquid or solid particles in gas. Clouds and fogs are natural aerosols which consists of water droplets dispersed in air. Dusty air and smoke are aerosols too. Insecticides, perfume spray, spray paint are artificial aerosols dispersed in the air. Foams are colloids, which consist of gas dispersed in gas. Liquid foams or solid solid foams, whipped cream, froth on a glass, on a beer, 
and so bladder are liquid foams. Styrofoam, pumice, yeast bread, and cake icing are solid foams. Gels are colloids which consist of liquid dispersed in solid. Your favorite gelatin dessert is a gel. Another example is silica gel. Silica gel is placed in small packages in packets of medicines and vitamin pills to keep them dry. Shoe polish, jellies, and jam are gels. Let's see if you learn something. Answer this. Classify the colored materials written inside the box according to their types. The choices are insecticides, gelatin, mayonnaise, pearl, milk, smoke, jam, paint. And the types of colloids are soul, emulsion, foams aerosols, and gels. See you next time for another science virtual class. This is Teacher Joyce Alba. Stay healthy and safe. God bless. Bye.